Hello everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener here, and in this video I want to talk about Blossom and Rot, B-E-R for short. That's the acronym that's most commonly found on the internet or in uh, most gardening circles. Blossom and Rot is a problem usually in peppers, tomatoes, squash, melons, things like that. And what happens is the plant can't get enough of the nutrients it needs, namely calcium, in order to be healthy and put out quality fruit. Sometimes the problem occurs when your soil or your uh, medium doesn't have enough calcium already in it. Other times it has enough uh, of the calcium in the soil, but if it's got an irregular watering cycle, then it's not able to use the water to take the calcium up into the plant itself. Now, behind here I've got my San Marzano tomatoes and they're doing pretty well. I noticed a few weeks ago that I had some blossom end rot tomatoes here, as you can see. And so what I've started to do is I've assessed a couple of situations. So earlier in the spring, you'll remember that I put in this new raised bed. And even though I did use homemade compost, I have a couple of problems. One, because it's new soil, the nutrients really haven't built up over time. And also on this side of the yard here, I only have one or two spray heads. I don't have this drip line irrigated, which I'll do next year. But I think inconsistent watering, along with the fact that it's the first year soil, is causing a calcium deficiency in my tomatoes. And I've gone through the tomatoes and I've pulled off several of the ones here, some good examples that have the blossom end rot on them. And you can clearly see, despite the end being bad, you could actually cut this off and still eat the rest of the tomato, but in most cases it stunts their growth and really it just makes the fruit quality not as good. You look at those compared to the ones that are maturing on here, we've got some really good dandies back there, some several large uh, four to six inch San Marzanos like they should. So two weeks ago I did two things to treat it. One, I checked the acidity of the soil and realized that I needed to add some garden lime in there so that the acidity levels were brought back to normal. The second thing is I've been coming out twice a week and just giving a couple of gallons of water to these plants to make sure that they are getting a more of a regular uh, cycle of watering. The third thing I did was add a high calcium rich fertilizer and you can use eggshells mixed in vinegar and then diluted in water and poured on there. The problem with that is it takes a little more time for the calcium in the eggshells to be immediately available for the plants. So in this case, having a water soluble, uh, high calcium rich fertilizer is probably the best way to go to solve the problem. But as a look, these four San Marzano plants are huge. So I know that they're getting enough water now and I know that they're doing fine. The leaves look fantastic on these, despite them being netted to keep the birds out, despite the leaves touching, which are all the no-nos on, on uh, tomatoes because they can get early blight or even blight, they're doing fantastic. So I know that the soil has all the other nutrients and I know the watering has now been taken care of the last couple of weeks. So now it's just a matter of maintaining the regimen of adding a little bit of calcium to the soil. And I believe that this soil will build up over time and be just fine. As I pointed out in the video, you can use a high calcium fertilizer and for that I did use a water soluble calcium uh, uh, fertilizer, but that's what I did because it is uh, readily available to the plant a lot more sooner. But you can use the bone meal, it's high in phosphorus but it also helps the plant absorb the uh, calcium in the medium. And then you can also use the garden lime to uh, adjust the pH of the soil. And then finally you can also get a calcium nitrate uh, spray and if you spray the leaves down the leaves will take in or absorb some of that calcium immediately and that might be one of the most effective ways to treat it I don't have the spray I didn't use the spray at the end of the day guys tomatoes squash peppers and melons are usually very susceptible to blossom end rot especially if they're grown in containers or in raised beds on their first or second year as far as building up the soil quality in summary Blossom end rot, or BER, -E occurs when the plant has the inability to take up calcium into its fruits and into its cell structures. It can be caused by a lack of calcium in the soil, or it can be caused by a lack of water that's allowing the plant to take in the calcium that it needs. Typically though, even without treatment, most soils already have enough calcium in them, 
And it's just certain plants and certain species of plants struggle when they're young because they're growing at such a rapid rate. And typically after the first fruit sets or the second fruit sets, BER is not normally a problem. So don't panic. You can treat it, like I said, with the methods that I've stated in the video, a calcium nitrate spray, a heavy fertilizer in calcium. You could put uh, bone meal in there. You can treat it with a garden lime and raise the uh, pH of the soil. You just need to make sure that your tomato plants or your pepper plants are on a regular watering cycle. At the end of the day, it's a normal thing that happens in all tomatoes, peppers, melons, and squashes. And it's easy to treat if you catch the signs early. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.